Whoa. Protein synthesis part three, but I'm not really sure where my screen went. So there we go. Whew. That was kind of scary. Okay. Whew. Got it blacked out. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do part three. And um, so we've done transcription. Now we're going to do translation. And this is the part of protein synthesis, the synthesis part where, where we're actually making the protein. So this occurs at the ribosome and um, um, which is a, another name for the ribosome would be the translator. So the process turns the messenger RNA into a primary sequence of amino acids for the making of proteins. So we are turning the nucleotide, the messenger RNA sequence, into a sequence of amino acids. And remember, it's amino acids together that make up proteins. And they're bonded together with a peptide bond. That's why proteins are called polypeptides, because there's many of them. So we need lots of these amino acids. So the process needs the assistance of transfer RNA um, in order for this to take place. Um, okay, so um, we have this transfer RNA. You can see here's the tRNA. The little T stands for the transfer RNA. And you can see paired up here, the transfer RNA has the um, amino acid that's attached to it. And so it's got this codon here. It's got this triplet. And, um, and well, let me just go through the the steps here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so the process needs the assistance of transfer RNA to transfer the free amino acids that are in the cytoplasm. So these amino acids are free out of the cytoplasm to the construction site of this ribosome. So here's our ribosome, this blobby looking thing here. All right, now remember that the anticodon is found on the transfer RNA. So you see down here is called the anticodon. There's three of them uh, together. We have the codon on the messenger RNA, those uh, sequence of three um, uh, nitrogenous bases here, the three nucleotides, and then the anticodon is on the transfer RNA. So this anticodon matches the codon on the messenger RNA, ensuring that the proper amino acid is brought to the construction site. So this anticodon, in this case, codes for glycine. So CCG codes for glycine. So GGC is the anticodon, I mean, is the codon, and this anticodon is going to fit with this. If they don't match, it's the wrong amino acid. So a different one's going to show up. So the amino acid connect is connected to the three prime end of the transfer RNA molecule. So remember that transfer RNA, the tRNA molecule is a nucleotide sequence. So there's a phosphate on the five prime end and an open bound on the three prime end. So this is where the amino acid gets attached. So it can be transported to the ribosome to that construction site. So the ribosome structure itself. All right, so let's see. Um, all right, so here's a close-up of this transfer RNA molecule. Here's our three prime end here, and um, the amino acid, that's the attachment site here. And then here down here is the anticodon. So these right here. So all of this is all DNA, I mean, you can see here's the three prime to the five prime end. Okay. So the, um, uh, here's a better picture here of the anticodon. Here's the three dimensional structure. So this is what it actually looks like. And this is a simplified version, a symbolic picture. All right. So um, in looking at the ribosome structure, uh, okay, we'll go back to that one. Okay, so looking at the ribosome structure, it has two parts. Now, this is a reminder that the ribosome is not an organelle. We talk about the function that it does, but it is not a it is not an organelle. So it has these two units. This uh, it has a small subunit and a large subunit. The um, 
small subunit acts as a, a platform type for work. So a lot like our desk. And then the large subunit is the part that's the, where the actual factory work for making the protein. So we have the A site. Here's the A site, the amino acetyl, um, the transfer RNA binding site right here. So that's the A site. And this is where the next transfer RNA molecule is added in the factory. The P site, this peptidyl right here, this is the part where the protein is attached, peptide, peptidyl, you're seeing the connection here, and it's easy to remember because it's P for protein. Um, the E site, the exit site, this is where the used transfer RNA molecule exits the factory to be recycled. Okay, so the ribosome um, location translocates it walks down so it's going to walk down this process here walks down the messenger RNA one codon at a time until it gets to the stop codon at the end of the messenger RNA all right so here's the so it's gonna bind here and then it's gonna walk over here to the binding site and then exit so you can see each time, so this is the next amino acid that's going to go to the end here. So it's going to continue until it reaches the stop codon. So it has, um, until it's completed the quote message and how to make the particular protein. So these ribosomes here are not membrane bound organelles. All cells, eukaryotes and prokaryotes possess these structures. They all have them. All right. So this trans translation has three phases. They're the same as in the transcription. Fortunately, who makes it easy to remember. So the first one is the initiation. We're building the factory. So this, um, this factory needs to be built in order to make the protein. So the small subunit here attaches to the five prime cap. And this signals, at this point, this signals the large subunit and then the AUG, remember this is our AUG is our start codon, brings in the transfer RNA and um, using that anticodon molecule then in this case because AUG codes for, I mean the, the um, UAC codes for methionine. So this starts the production of the protein. All right, so we're starting here. Um, the large subunit then is aligned so that methionine is then in the P position. And um, it's in the P site. The A site is open for the addition of the next transfer RNA molecule. All right, so methionine goes in here. All right, next we have this elongation by translocation. This is the actual making of the primary sequence of amino acids. So here's our, um, uh, we're bound to this um, site, the codon recognition. And uh, you can see it goes through here. GTP is added in. This is our energy for this process. And we're adding another amino acid. And you can see it just continues to walk along the peptide bond is formed so here's this the peptide bond is formed between these two see that bond here and then the translocation so now this one that has gotten rid of its amino acid now exits and now that's still in the p site the binding site and now there's room for another amino acid to come in here and then bond the peptide bond formation so it just continues in this process so this occurs when um, termination actually occurs it's the releasing of the amino acid it occurs when the termination codon reaches the a site so the release factor the enzyme enters the a site causing this hydrolysis reaction so water's added in the bond is broken to occur, it releases the protein from the last transfer RNA molecule, which is sitting in the P site. So, um, uh, 
after the hydrolysis reaction occurs, the protein detaches and the subunits separate. So after this happens, this, uh, the protein, once this occurs, so once the termination factor has been received, it's not in the shape of a star, they're just showing it. Um, then that's released, and now these subunits um, break apart from each other. They separate, and they're able to be reused in this process. So the messenger RNA, this messenger RNA can be reused to make more of the particular protein, or it could be broken down and the nucleotides recycled. Um, these polyribosomes, the messenger um, polyribosomes, of course, many ribosomes can occur at a single strand of messenger RNA. And what this does is allow for the cells to make many copies of the same proteins very, very quickly. Um, like in the case of repair, where there needs to be. All right, so here's the big picture. Um, let's see. Here's our, uh, here's the entire process, everything going on. So we're going from transcription out, leaving out of the nucleus, we have our excise of our introns, exons being um, spliced together, leaving the nucleus, heading out to the ribosome, um, those subunits, the small and the large subunits, and then protein synthesis being made through this process of translation, and then those subunits released, and the um, nucleotides back re from the messenger RNA are then released back. Um, post, uh, let's see, I don't see it here. Okay, so post means after. So the translation mo molecule, um, this is the protein folding that occurs for the protein to be able to be functional. So it's going to, um, there's a certain way that it's going to fold. So if the one prime sequence enters a chaperonin um, to fold, the protein is going to stay inside the cell. So um, this is a smaller water-free type container that the protein's gonna go in. Um, if the one prime sequence enters the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the protein is gonna leave the cell and uh, it's gonna be exported out. So there's two choices here. Um, it's either gonna stay in the cell or it's going to leave the cell. That's all we have for today. I know you're so sad. We're